and I can't tell you how happy the residents out here are to have this railroad track finally addressed. I'm jumping for joy. <laughs> Nearly two years after she called Better Call 4, Carol Gallo got the results that she has been waiting for. Her pleas for a smoother drive over those railroad tracks on Go Down Road repeatedly went unanswered. So she called Better Call 4, and since November of 2020, we have stayed with it, and it's finally happened. When we met Carol Gallo in 2020, she was frustrated and fed up with these railroad tracks on Go Down Road near Linworth Road in North Columbus. Tremendously uh, terrible, dangerous railroad tracks that were in desperate need of repair. Loose tracks and uneven pavement that forced drivers to put on the brakes before crossing. <laughs> And when Gallo called us in September of that year, she had already reached out to several other agencies for help. I didn't know where to begin. And I called city, state, went as far as the governor's office, nothing. Yeah. And I, I think probably another year or so went by. I mean, who are you going to call? And better call for came up and I thought, I'm going to call them. We spoke with Gallo on October 28th of 2020 and our first installment of what came to be an ongoing saga aired on November 27th of that year. I placed all my eggs in one basket with you. That was it. If you couldn't do anything and I was sure you could, I wasn't going to go any further. In the weeks and months that followed, I've reached out periodically to CSX, the company in charge of maintaining the tracks, to see if and when complete repairs would be made. Fast forward to the fall of 2021, CSX told me some work took place, just not enough to make a difference for drivers like Gallo. So I continued to reach out, but progress was slow. Then July 25th of this year, signs and barriers went up on Go Down Road, alerting drivers of a week long closure to complete work on the tracks. And finally, 22 months after my first conversation with Gallo and several phone calls and emails to CSX later, the tracks and the roadway around them have been repaired. Drivers appear to be relieved and so is Gallo. And I can't tell you how happy the residents out here are to have this railroad track finally addressed. Now, I did reach out to CSX to confirm those repairs, and a representative told me in a statement that maintenance crews replaced cross ties and asphalt to provide a safe, smooth surface for drivers, and that those repairs were completed as part of a routine infrastructure maintenance. If you'd like to see the whole statement from CSX, just check out this story on NBC4i.com.